Russo'sBrand.com, where the pros are the pros. All right, this is amazing. We've had a lot of Tony Khan come out and speak to the crowd videos before. The amount of time he is talking to the crowd in this one is ridiculous. This was sent in by Michael Kraus. I think Michael filmed this. Dusty. I just wanted to come out here and say... Hold on for a second. Stop for a second. (laughs) Does he know he has a microphone so he doesn't have to yell? I mean, why is he doing the wrestling voice? He's not out there in character yelling at another wrestler. He's just talking to bro. the crowd. Why is he doing that, Tony Khan voice? Bro. Are bro. you excited for AEW Dynamite? Bro, do you think when the Jaguars lost, he went in the locker room with, with, with mean voice and addressed the players? You think, bro? Can you imagine him dressing down the Jaguars using the mean voice? Can you imagine that room, bro? Well, I can see when he walked out of the locker room and then the media tried to talk to him about it. And he's, well, I can't comment on that. But if you guys want to watch Dynamite yeah. this Wednesday night, we're yeah, going to have yeah, a great yeah. match. <laughs> All right, let's watch what he says here, bro. I couldn't ask for a better way to start 2024. It's worth Ziggler versus this man. What, what is it? He's trying so hard with the mean voice. You don't even know what the freak he's saying. He can't find think of a better way to start 2024 than serve Swerve Strickland versus Daniel Garcia. Oh, okay, yeah. Meanwhile, I have no idea. Either. You're going to be seeing a lot of this guy in 2024, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, where do you think he gets that voice from? Like, he doesn't get it from Vince. V- Vince never went into promote a voice. When, well, when- Vince did. Ha- Vince did have two different voices when he was on commentary. Do you remember that? Did he really? Yeah. One, two. Oh, he kicked out. Like, yeah, he would go from that <laughs> high voice to that re- real low voice. Where does he? Where does he get this from? I don't know, but it's not his normal voice. It's only microphone voice in front of the crowd. So weird, bro. Look at this. What is that guy? Wait, a buck 20? (laughs) Like, who who is this guy? Look at that guy. Look at that guy, bro. Uh oh. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Tonight has been a great night so far. And we still have a lot of great wrestling to come. I got some of my favorites in the back, and we got some more great wrestling to come. Newark, let's have some AEW Rampage. What? what? <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry. I can't make out what he's saying. Newark, let's have some AEW Rampage. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Newark, New Jersey. Oh, Newark. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right, bro. Okay. I know a lot of you are TNT subscribers. Bro, I want to re- I want to remind everybody, this is the Jeremy Borash role at TNA. Like, yeah, they have Justin Roberts. Right. Like, what, yeah. what are we doing, man? And this Friday night, you guys get to be in two places at the same time because you're going to be right here for AW Rampage. And you'll be able to watch it at home. It'll be a lot like one of my favorite movies, Time Cop. Have you seen Time Cop? It's very good. All right, well, we are about to get going here. This great crew. Bro, see, you you can hear those people laugh. They're, they're, they're laughing at him. <laughs> They're not laughing with him. They're literally some, some of those people may oh may my God. time cop funny. There's somebody on Twitter that we'll we'll get to it later. But Bischoff annihilated him again. And this there's a person that actually thinks that Tony Khan got over on Eric Bischoff. Oh yeah, no, Twitter. I know, I saw like, that. Like yeah. they, they like these people though. So there yeah. are some people that probably think he, that that he, was funny. He got over on Disco too. Yeah. I just wanted to say it was New Year's this week. I hope you all had a great New Year's. I hope you all had a great Christmas and a great holiday season. There's no off season in professional wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. And we go up and down the road 52 weeks a year. 
And this great crew of women and men work so hard. They don't take any time off, including the holidays, and they make sure these shows happen every week. Let's hear it for the great women and men of this great AEW crew that make it possible to do wrestling every week, including over the holiday season, right here in Newark. And to get things going, bro, you had to get Jeff. I'm telling you, man, I've you know, obviously, I've been in that spot and I've been in front of a crowd. And, bro, I, I swear to God, the only way that you would be begging for acceptance from a crowd, literally, bro, is if nobody paid attention to you as a kid. That that is the only way because that is why he's out there. He wants the adulation of the crowd. He wants the cheering with everything he says. That's why he puts over Newark. That's why he's putting over the crew in the back because every time he can get a pop, 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 they're popping for him. And, bro, this isn't an on-screen character where he's trying to generate heat or something like that. Bro, I swear to God, the only way you can wind up like this is literally, bro, you know, my my, my dad's a billionaire. He's all over the country. He's never home. They pick at me and make fun of me at school because of my book. All I'm doing is booking at the, at the lunch table and with my backpack. It's like, bro, seriously, bro, I, I, I really wonder, and, and I'm not kidding around, Bro, do you think this dude goes to therapy? Because if he doesn't, man, I bet you that would help him tremendously. No, I, I would doubt it. I, I don't think it's that. I, I mean, I don't think he needs therapy. Oh, I do, bro. I, I just think this is, he's still a child. And this is him doing a wrestling show in his backyard as a kid. But now he can pay for people to come and listen to him. So he can go out in front of the crowd, even though he's not a wrestler. Or he has no business I, really being out there. I think there's a deeper level to it than that. <laughs> Three of my personal favorites. We're going to have the Hornet and Mark Rickard. There's no way you could make out that last name. Let me try. I don't know. The Hardys and somebody. <laughs> Mark Briscoe. Uh, the Hardys and Mark Briscoe. I thought he was saying Don Francisco. <laughs> yeah, Mark Briscoe. The Hardys no! and Mark Briscoe. Hell yeah. We're going to have some great action going right now on TNT. The crew's working really hard, just like they do every week. Tony, these people just want to go take a piss, maybe get a hot yeah, dog and, 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 and some and, popcorn or something. Let, and he's just repeating break. himself over and over. Yeah. Yeah, I swear to God, bro. The number one rule rule in wrestling when you have a mic in your hand is less is more. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Everybody, less is more. Less is more. I wonder if anybody has ever told him that. Get this thing going. And moments from now, we're gonna get AW Rampage started. But one thing I know: every time we come here to the Prudential Center, you people kick ass for AEW. Thank you. Thank you for making it a great. Arrival in AEW for the hometown hero, Deanna Peralta. Thank you for making it a great night for AEW, for Dynamite. We're about to have a great rampage. God bless you, Newark. Thank you. I think you. he's done. That'd be a good ender, right? Justin, looks like we're almost ready to We're just go about ready to go with Rampage. Listen to that guy's voice. He's the one that should be talking like you're talking about. Yeah. Listen to the ring announce. He was, you know, he was in WWE for a long time. A lot of people know who he is, but he's got the voice. And bro, he's he's, he's literally saying that because the director in the back is screaming in his headsets, "Cut this effing guy off!" <laughs> I'm telling you, that's exactly what what's going on because the guy cuts him off, bro. Because everybody's in the back at the gorilla position, saying, "All right, bro, let's go. We want to we want to go home tonight, bro." We're about ready to go with Rampage. All right. Thank you very much, everybody. We're moments away from getting started. I didn't rewind. He said that again. And every time we come here to Newark, ladies and gentlemen, I know we can 
count of the best pro wrestling fans in the world up here in the Northeast to make it special, special moments like tonight to welcome the new Continental Champion, Eddie Kingston. I want to welcome back to AEW, one of our top tag teams, Private Party. You always make tonight the great nights like this special, and we're going to have a great night coming up on Rampage. Justin, it looks like we almost got the ring set up. Bob has given us the final tie over there, and we will be underway with our opening contest. Great. Justin, do you have he now he, 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 I want everybody to understand this, okay? Here's what happened. They were setting up the ring. Okay, so bro, they they need to kill time and they need to keep the crowd involved. Okay, bro, so this somebody's got to go up there and eat some minutes to keep the crowd entertained while they finish the ring. Okay? Here's the problem, bro. There's 100 talents in the back. And your job is to get those talents over. So what do you do, bro? I'm going to run a heel out there. Let's see how he can do with 10 minutes left to film. Let, let you know, with 10 minutes to kill on a live mic. So you literally, bro, you're going to find somebody that you, you might be on the fence about that needs the work and you're going to send them out there because this is not televised. But this guy doesn't even understand that, Jeff. He he grabs the microphone and he's going to eat up the time repeating himself over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's why you've got guys in the back saying exactly what I just said, I guarantee you, bro, that th th these are the things that this man just does not understand. What a fantastic New Year's. I couldn't wait to come back to New Jersey. Absolutely, me too. Thank you very much, everybody. We're getting ready to get started moments from now. Again, didn't rewind again. That's like the fourth time he said that. You'll be hearing the theme song. God bless you, and I'll see you after. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Khan. <laughs> he's saying God. Good. He's saying... <laughs> Yeah. It was over four minutes. It was yeah. almost five minutes that he was out there. Yeah, but when he's saying God bless you while he's calling people names on social media. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Jeff. What's next? 